Hello. Hi there. Welcome back to the nap corner. <laughs> so today we are having lunch in we our We are celebrating. Nap mm -hmm. This is not an alcoholic. For so <laughs> because this is a family friendly channel. And a college campus. We are celebrating um, our triumphant return from the grocery store, Groceries. actually. And we thought that we would share a little bit with you guys about the shopping experience of the college kid. Today yeah. on our journey, we took along resident expert Deborah Wright. Sometimes you go for the brands, the store brands. They're good brands. You always get what's on the list. You always make a list. You should minimize the aimless wondering. If you'll notice our list, it's yes. written basically in order when we get to it in When you shop with your roommate, do you plan out ahead of time, like a couple weeks in advance, what you guys are going to make for dinner, and that's why you buy what you buy, or? Well, usually. Like, we like to stock up, keep well stocked. Mm -hmm. um, Always a good idea. Because neither of us have cars, so we usually just, we drive off people like you. Oh. And <laughs> that's okay, I'm feeding you. That's true. <laughs> well, I was looking for a good mixture of volume and greenness. This is too skinny. <laughs> not too skinny. <laughs> it's a delicate problem. Sorry. Whenever Debbie and I go shopping, one of our favorite things to do is look at the fruits and vegetables because we are fans of fresh food. While most, a lot of college students will just get, hey, I can microwave this, but we don't really want to uh, get radioactive poisoning from <laughs> eating only microwave stuff. So we Because get a lot it of might make things. you grow a second arm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I've broken into the kumquat. I'm pretty sure this is the first kumquat I've ever had in my life. They're like little oranges, but guys, just letting you know, kumquat may be fun to say, but they're not fun to eat. There's like nothing in them. I mean, it's all right if you. I peeled off the top, and then I sort of sucked on the middle, and it's sweet. It's basically thin. if you I want like a kumquat, get an orange. It's basically way Their cheaper. Their nature is sweet tart. Sweet tarts are the most disgusting thing that was ever invented. Well, if you, should, you should find a kind that you like. For example, we like bell peppers. But the cheapest variation of bell peppers is green. Which is probably my favorite kind anyway. You must make sure that they're free of blemish. Like this one. This is 27.7 per ounce. This is 27.3 per ounce. So it'd be cheaper to get, like, more of these. This is the duck of the day. We named her Bimbo. After the type of bread that you should not buy. That was a little uh, reference to our bread excursion. Earlier, we had been looking for um, a certain type of bread, and um, comparing again, contrasting. resident expert Deborah will show us exactly what it means to compare and contrast different types of bread based on their uh, name brand. We're getting rid of the bimbo bread, which was a gamble in the first place, and we're going for great value. Which is they know what. <laughs> We're going for the store brand, which is often a good brand. Some brands are worth paying more for. Get something good. Bimbo. Bimbo we don't know about yet. Technically, marketing names are not allowed to be used because it's a brand name. We have to beep it out. Uh, no. Like, And anytime we show what store we actually shopped at, we have to blur out the, the sign or we have to beep out the name. That's, that's not... No. Because they're copyrighted. Hmm. I can say, I went to Kroger, Walmart, Harris Teeter the other day. And I would have to beep out all three of those. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. I can say it. They, I just can't use it for my own. We do not own <laughs> or Harris Teeter. Any of the above. Anyways. I have to say Kroger. We don't own that one either. <clears throat> or Skinny <laughs> or whatever. Damn, um, family friendly. That's right. Stan, I just wanted to tell you that even if you propose, you can't elope with me. Somehow I knew that joke was going to end up on the show somewhere, <laughs> and I was going to cry. While I was at the store, I was like, Debbie, it's not on our list, but we should get some hamburger for this hamburger helper. Otherwise, it would just be helper. And, <laughs> you know. I don't think that would be very good to eat. So basically you just walk through the store and then you go, oh, I like this. No, no, no. We make lists. Lists are important. Didn't you hear at the beginning of the movie? The no, it's true. Um, so you don't come back with like a whole bag full of... 
And that's all you well, have to eat for two that weeks. That would be okay. <laughs> Dan's never had Nutella. Apparently, um, it's like one of the best things since Velcro shoe fasteners. Hold on a second. Whoa. Magically appears. That's Nutella how awesome Nutella is. Has got to be a most um, the most amazing food ever. Can I put some of this on your chicken? Ew. <laughs> Not really. Just eat this. I have potatoes in my mouth. Swallow. <laughs> I just dropped a half-eaten potato <laughs> back in there. <laughs> um. Now, turkey is a substitute for ground beef. Better for you, often cheaper, I think equally as tasty. Tortilla chips are not all created alike, kids. Some of them are terrible. Yeah, so, just wondering, why is it... Are you eating more new... No. Yes. I feel like you're lying. I wonder what... Are you a little... Ray. What? Really? What? On potatoes? It's... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't you think you're going a little bit overboard with this? Mm-mm. It's... I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. It's so is good. It? Like, this stuff keeps me alive during finals. Oh, dear. I love Nutella. And speaking of... No, Nutella. We're talking about Nutella. How is it that you can say that word, but when I say Nutella, then you're scaring the children. What? Is... But every time I say it comes out beep. Nutella on Smarties. Say that. Ew, that's gross. No, not. Ray, this is becoming an addiction. You really need to fix this. I mean, that's just. If you're just gonna cook for yourself, don't buy things in bulk because it'll go bad. But if you can buy things with your roommates, depending on how many people they want to feed, probably about a pound. Peanut butter is absolutely something you should buy. It's like chocolate peanut butter. It's delicious! Mm. No. Nope. It is delicious. <laughs> Give me the chocolate. What? Give it to me! No, it's, back I, on. I need some. Oh, hi! hi. <laughs> Sorry hi. about that. This is actually really, really good. And I'm really upset that I can't have any it's more so of it. It's so expensive. Mm. I'm just gonna do this. See, a lot of people like chocolate covered pretzels, chocolate covered raisins, chocolate covered spoons are something that people don't usually try a lot. It's not They're just chocolate, this is Nutella. Mm. Oh, we can't show you what it is, but you know what it is because I said it. Now I'm gonna have to blur out the brand name. Whenever I get to the juice aisle, I always think, man, I really should get something cheap like Min and Maid. But Simply Orange is just the best brand. So we normally do a little splurging. If you eat one more thing with on it. Oh, there's just one smarty left. Do you want it? No! Smarties are so nasty. No, what are so nasty? Oh no! <laughs> Smarties! What? No! Did you say- Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> say that word. Kroger. Dang it! <laughs> this is a problem. What would happen if I mixed Chick-fil-A sauce with Nutella? I would throw up. <laughs> yeah, me too, probably. <laughs> oh, kumquats with Nutella. Ray. No, no, no. I no, think I for that. the good of our programming, you should put this away. Put what away? I, the The what? No, no. <laughs> Damn, that's disgusting. Well, guys, I'm going to try to help Ray out with this, uh, hey, with I this, need this. addiction. Damn. And in the meantime, if you would just go ahead and like our channel. No, don't do it. You can't eat the